Tanse ni sikasan ser red cardinal kaskewa no chinia ni musan narcis cardinal egwa no kama gadajule kusi I am an assistant professor in the School of Child and Youth Care in the Faculty of Human and Social Development at the University of Victoria. My name is Sarah Wright Cardinal and I'm a Cree scholar from Treaty 8 territory. I frame my research as healing from colonial disruptions to Indigenous identities. Uh, we have a long, complex history um, in the settling of Canada that displaced Indigenous nations and Indigenous families. And um, through recent uh, efforts of reconciliation, uh, there's been an opportunity through the university to engage Indigenous resurgence, which is supporting Indigenous communities, nations and organizations with sovereignty, and community wellness, and um, specific to my work, reclaiming or nurturing our kinship family systems, which is where the children, youth, and family and community, from babies to elders, are able to engage together in the community. In the heart of that project, uh, I was carving a 33-foot uh, red cedar dugout canoe. Uh, with a master carver who has matrilineal ties to Pachidat. So bringing that knowledge back to the nation uh, with two youth, uh, male youth apprentices who worked full time on the canoe for four months. And um, we engaged other activities, wraparound activities, so that uh, children and youth and family um, were able to participate as well. We um, followed New Channel Protocol to welcome the log and um, and start in a good way. And our site was, was in the center of the village so that everybody could come by. It was very uplifting during the pandemic to have this um, cultural resurgence in the middle of the village and to be able to have opportunities for um, community members and visitors to come by and see the progress and to help out uh, like with draw shaves or an ad say to help a little bit along the way. So many, many hands have helped with uh, making the canoe. And uh, after we completed the canoe and had the canoe blessing, we've continued on in the winter time with supporting Culture Night, which is a bi-weekly uh, community gathering with a feast and uh, drumming and dancing to awaken the ancestral songs and dances of the nation. With regards to Pachidat Nation and this particular project, uh, there is a process to grow schooling up to grade 12 in community. And so one of the outputs of our project uh, in bringing the Chapats to life, we documented with photos and video and uh, we're making a curriculum uh, a curriculum unit to be used in the elementary school and a an ebook and um, so that the the little ones I think there's 13 uh, Pachidat kids at the school they'll be able to see themselves in the curriculum it's so important to have um, authentic materials from community so that children can see themselves and um, identify with what they're learning. There's also um, you know, a real language resurgence of the Dittidat language. And so we're making an effort to support that with the book uh, being bilingual and with the uh, Pachidat educators who are bringing the language to, to the children as well. The resurgence at Pachidat is one example of demonstrating that Indigenous nations are strong and the governance systems, the natural laws, the natural governance systems um, embed language, culture, kinship system, health, wellness, education. It's all embedded within the natural laws. And so if we have the opportunity in the university or in the academy to support in a good way, then let's do it. Uh, 
because I, I feel really strongly that, um, you know, through community wellness, um, our institutions will benefit from Indigenous community wellness, from Indigenous knowledges, if we can um, engage in respectful ways. I'm really humbled and appreciate that, uh, that this work that we've done together uh, has been acknowledged um, at, at this level. I really can't think of anything better, a, a better way to, um, uh, to spend uh, the later years of my life. And I really appreciate um, the people that I've worked with. This really is a collaboration and um, grateful to each person on the team and I thank Kufa BC for, for selecting me.